hours of fun and fantastic interviews. I'm your host, Glenn Broggett, and I got a few other guys with me, too, here to deliver another great edition of the show here on Pioneer 90.1 FM, RadioNorthland.org. Two big interview guests tonight in hour number one. I have Greg Prado, or Prado, it's Potato Potato. A Greg Prado, he's a great author. He wrote two books, uh, one about former Kiss drummer Eric Carr, a guy who passed away uh, rather young back in 1991 of a rare form of cancer, heart cancer. So he's coming on tonight. He's also written a book on MTV Ruled the World, the early years of music video. They're covering the early years of MTV. Hour number two, Greg Fitzsimmons, great comedian. Just wrote a great book, too, called Dear Mrs. Fitzsimmons. That's coming up. But now i got to get into introducing the two guys who show up each and every edition of the show, and I really appreciate the fact that they do. Yes, it's the crew of the Tuesday Night Experiment. First of all, Mr. Blind Dog. What's yeah. up, my friend? What's going on, brother? <clears throat> well, not too much. Uh, boy, oh boy, we're still reeling from the uh, lack of uh, NFL game last night. Oh, man, I already voiced my opinion on the AM side of the radio, so it, uh, yeah, that kind of bummed me out. And I, I went on the internet, went to the Herald website, checked out that article, that sports article, and uh, that Jim Shaw, the head honcho at Fox TV out of Fargo, which covers up here in Thief from Falls, blah. Yeah. Their yeah. license to carry Fox Sports is to North Dakota, not to Minnesota. So they were going to let all the Fox affiliates in North Dakota and New York, or Minnesota and New York, cover that Vikings game. But being that they're crossed away there in North Dakota, they couldn't do it. So, you know. Disappointing. Totally got shafted. Even went on the internet to try to watch the stream from uh, KMSP or whatever. Uh, just not, not, not rocking? Not rocking. They cut it off, man. They just put their little uh, screensaver logo on there. Said oh, Fox yeah, they, 9. Do, they do that sometimes. To block it out. They yeah. could have just showed a rerun of Perfect Strangers or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. So, that yep. was my... So you were on your soapbox, man. Raving, yeah, man. I, I was genuinely frustrated, and I feel your pain, man. Yeah. But boy, was it you know in the end was it really worth it though? They kind of stank, they kind of stank the rink up there, up there in Detroit, twenty-one-three. Oh, psh. I think for it, sure. I think the writing's on the wall for uh, Tavares Jackson uh, as being a starting quarterback in the uh, National Football League. Now they're looking at that uh, Minnesota Gopher Stadium. Oh yeah, TCF. The outdoor one. Yeah, TCF Field. That should be. You know what? I think that would be the right stuff. That that's perfect. It's that would br- be hardcore. It's a brand how new. How cold it is. Brand new stadium, basically. Like, yeah. I mean, we're talking about uh, dead of winter up for football outdoors. That's the old days. That's like at the Met, man. When back when men yeah. were men, and people go out to those games and froze. Not the Metrodome. Yeah, dress up for the stuff. Not the Metrodome with its quilted uh, roof. I think they'll be playing outdoors on Monday. What is that, Monday against uh, Chicago? Chicago? Yeah, Leslie uh, Frazier's uh, former team, team he played for in the, the, his glory days of the you yeah. know, the Super Bowl shuffle and all that stuff. So uh, so what if they have to pump out that antifreeze out of the the lines in there? Well worth, you know, well worth it. Come on, who's going to use the bathrooms anyway? And you know what, I think it actually has, <laughs> outdoors actually has more seating. Yeah, I mean the Metrodome. What did we get? Maybe fifty, fifty thousand. I think there's about fifty thousand in there. Yeah, uh, a little bit more with the uh, baseball. But yeah, yeah, I think that'd be a good thing. I, I, I just can't believe that tarp ripped. Yeah, watching the. I think everybody up in here, these parts have have seen the video of that uh, early morning debacle. Why would Fox Sports have their cameras recording and running? Uh, so early, unless they want to get the crowd filling up the dome and then whatever. Al Qaeda. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big conspiracy. I think they did it on purpose so they can just get a new dome right here in Minnesota. I what do you high, think? I think it's high time. That dome is almost 30 years old. Outdated architecture. I think yeah, it's time to get open air. That one guy in local TV here on the television station, he was doing that little interview and he said it's the ghetto of domes in the NFL. Well, it's, it's so <laughs> ancient. You know, and I think that I think retractable roof would be where the big money is at. I mean, play a little open air, and then if it gets too cold or whatnot, close that baby up. Bathrooms are a little weird. I mean, it's like you're going to the trough to take a squirt. You know? <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> a big welcome to the blind dog, and yeah. we, we forgot about the third piece here. 
A guy who later on, when he does his DVD review, I've got many words to say that may not be, let's just say, terrestrial radio friendly. But I'm going to welcome him anyway, because he is a true dandy, a one and only, Mr. Sugar Sean. Well, well, well. You got your music here. Hold on. Welcome to the show, buddy. All right. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling we were going through uh, a theme here, you know. You got frickin' Tiny Tim playing Tiptoe Through the Tulips. I mean, I thought you'd play something cool like Motorhead or something, Ace of Spades or something, but no. Tiny Tim. And yes, I, for, for all you people watching on YouTube here, no I am... No me for you, buddy. I am taping part of this sequence, anyway. You do not get rewarded for missing and not doing something, but we'll get into well, it in yeah, the second well, hour. Well, yeah, well, you know... We'll talk about that in the second hour. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm apologizing ahead of time, but, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? We're talking about the Metrodome well, thing. First of all, buddy Jack, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great, you know, just... Uh, Worked ready all day. Holidays, brother. Get ready for holidays. Worked at Hugo's today. You know, this all. You know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pander. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, there it is again. I'm gonna start keeping track, man. All right, that's, that's all right. one. One so far. <laughs> There'll probably be many more tonight. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm the panda bear. Can you hook me up with a roll of those Hugo's paid stickers? <laughs> but 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 I do want to let everybody know. You know, just for the ones who care anyway. That. Uh, you know, I brought my ca- little handy dandy camera here. You know, that we're be filming some of the segments tonight here that we shoot on the air here. You know, he's got tight shots like the guys who work for Scorsese. <laughs> well, I know we can work with it. This flip cam has been pretty great for me for the last two years. So it's been very good to try to do to some more on location stuff for my YouTube channel. Is so that flip cam seen female nudity? Uh, well, come on, man. Be not, honest. Not really, no. <laughs> we have that Tiny Tim ending there. Right? You, you can mess up. <laughs> if you want to believe that's what I've seen, then okay. If you want to believe that's what I've seen, you're going to break into a song. That's yeah. right. Then all righty. All righty then, as Ace Ventura would say. You know? <laughs> Oh, but it's very uh, wonderful to have you there. Yeah, so, yeah. So. You know, I, I, I try to uh, have a same, same amount of time for an intro as a blind dog here. So, I was worried, know. man. I was worried about the show. It could have been a sugar-free show. I didn't know if you were Sugar-free, yeah. For all the diabetics out there that listen to this tr- That's show. What That's what's in that glass <laughs> over there. This one? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Coca-Cola and, and uh, tequila. I think he burned his drink there. <laughs> ah, smell I, can, I can smell Canadian club oh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> I might have seen you at the liquor store. Really. Yeah, it's sneaking oh. around. Yeah, you got carded, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, well, they thought, you know, because of my cute boyish You're too looks. You're cute to look a minute over 17. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, they didn't know I'm 27, but, you know. They thought You're 27? I, <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Do, 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 like do, do. The, the, the guy that walk in there and say, I want a case of pounders. <laughs> I'm the buyer. Yes, I would like I would like some of the beer, please. No, if I ever... What kind? What do you got? If I were... that night train? If I were to... No, 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 no. See, if I were to ever buy for somebody, say if I was underage, I should probably be saying this. Well, but, yeah, what the... You, you, yeah, but you keep it on the I, town, I, though, I, I, would, I would do it exactly like on Teen Wolf. That kind of way. Even though you could turn into a werewolf, you but you, you can't know. You can't grow facial hair at the drop of a hat. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> but you're 27, you got. I think my ears there. make up for that. Is that anyway. flesh colored beard you got there, buddy? <laughs> Spencer Pratt Jeez. over there. Paste it on. Wow. <laughs> Takes it from his back. <laughs> Everyone knows the way to get liquor in there. Come yeah, on but now. if you do you it, just if hang you, out in front of the store. If you do it the way they did on Teen Wolf. Then it's all it's I all good. A cake of beer. Well, not well, you know. And then how his buddy Styles tried to, beforehand. Or well, we don't have a wolfmobile, so. and we don't have a teen wolf, so I guess we're S to the O to the L. Do we got on the that. Do we, we got the Beach Boys is. or whatever surfing USA? Uh, we're not playing. Uh, we take that flip cabin. Yeah, we'll put it somewhere delightful. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got some uh, news out of the shoot here, and it uh, concerns Sugar Sean's. Uh, <laughs> Pin up to end all pinups. Oh boy. Oh yes, it's talking about Miley Cyrus. Yeah, and she just had a birthday not too long ago. Yep. And Billy Ray Cyrus took to his Twitter to issue a statement regarding the video of 18 year old Miley taking a bong hit that leaked on the internet December 10th. Here's what uh, BRC had to say about this I have no idea. Just saw this stuff for the first time myself. I'm so sad. There's much, this is much, there's much beyond my control right now. I reckon maybe <laughs> could have taken that. Billy Ray is obviously referring to his daughter's recent headline-making behavior. 
Prior to the leaked video of Miley smoking salvia at her L.A. home on November 28th, the pop starlet endured a nude picture scandal. The trip and video was stolen off of her friend's camera while the pictures leaked after Miley's purse were uh, reportedly stolen. Oh, yeah. Uh, just conveniently stolen, huh?